Boom. It's time for today's travel and cruise industry news. With the latest from travel and cruises around the world, here's your host, Chili Falls. Hey, good morning and welcome to Monday's Travel and Cruise Industry News Podcast. Sorry about the technical issues, folks. I have no idea what happened. The second time I rebooted my phone, it came back, it came back on. The first time I was still doing the same thing. So I don't ask me where that came from. Anyway, welcome to a Monday Travel and Cruise Industry News po Podcast. On this, the 24th day of June, 2024, I'm almost 11 minutes late starting. Glad you guys stuck with me, those of you that did. All right, so we've got several stories this morning. A gym dispute on a ship. Also today, the original Love Boat cast cruise. Biking to expand fleet. Brazilian carnival at sea. A new shopping center, um, Bimini, and a Virgin Voyages Comedy Festival, that and lots more here at 11 o'clock this morning. Today, folks, is National Praline Day. Not my favorite. I mean, they're okay. I tend, pralines tend to be a little too uh, uh, sweet for me. I know that might sound weird because they're not overly sweet, but there's just something about them that just doesn't work very well. Anyway, I'll eat them. You know, if you're listening to the podcast, yeah, I'll be able to cut most of that mess out so you won't even know what happened. Uh, but anyway, we'll start the, the show off for you guys. Uh, welcome aboard. You can always access the podcast via my blog, which is accessadventure.net, or wherever you get your podcasts from. Just search for travel and cruise industry news, and up pops the fat travel guy. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff to go over today. Uh, let's see. Might as well start down here, I reckon. Uh, this was from Rochelle. She was in uh, uh, St. Martin there. Barbados, beach day at Barbados. This is uh, my friend Kelly Narosky at the ADA Symposium in Minneapolis. The cruise monkeys uh, digs aboard the uh, Queen Anne. And this was one back from Father's Day. Cindy and her dad at a ball game. My friends Lisa and Brenda, my Canadian girlfriends. Uh, they're both married. Not one of them's married. One of them's married, one's not married. But anyway, I've sailed with them several times. They're down in Key West doing some kayaking. And I wonder, that's a, she's calling it kayaking. She's got a seat that's a little different than a kayak that I'm used to. This was uh, Cotton at the, the vet's office uh, tr trying to explain to the vet what the computer meant. Uh, the vet didn't want to hear any of it, uh, but and Cotton didn't. He said, too bad. You're going to listen. So, this is our my buddy Brian Hogue. You know, brought me that lovely uh, quart of bourbon. He was at his uh, 80, 1980 and 1981 uh, reunion. This is Sylvia down at uh, at the Alamo with one of her sons and at the Whit Museum. And uh, this is uh, Joanna. She says, uh, but Grandpa John, it's too hot out there on the tractor. And then John says, well, just get a little lemonade and get back out there. Uh, Katie had some oysters yesterday. Man, they look good. Oh, goodness gracious. And, of course, back in Tampa, Bethany's back home from a two-week uh, sojourn. 
we're going to see if we can't get her on one day because uh, she's always such a good guest. All right, I'll be back with some news, folks, after a quick break from one of our network sponsors. Graham, a passenger simply trying to work out in the gym on the carnival celebration, was told by a woman to get out of her shot as she filmed with her phone. A 52-year-old corrections officer from Montgomery, Alabama, shared the experience with brand ambassador John Heald. Diagnosed with a recent medical condition, Graham found exercise helpful in managing it, but also admitted with a touch of humor. I'm trying so hard to plan on being good with exercising so I can eat all the yummy food that they're serving here without an ounce of guilt. He continued, I was in the gym early that morning around eight o'clock, but his workout plans in the cruise ship gym were quickly thwarted by the woman who was recording a video. She told me I needed to move out of her way from the view of the mirror, Graham recounted. I was shocked. She told me she was filming for Carnival and I had to get out of her view. According to Graham, the passenger wasn't just filming herself casually. She filmed herself with a phone making motivational mantras. He added that she told another passenger the same thing. Get out of my shot. Hill responded responded to the message saying that he did some checking into the situation upon investigating the carnival's PR and marketing teams he assured Graham that there were no official filming projects happening on board particularly not with iPhones in the gym I might have told the lady just to go to hell Virgin Voyages announced its first ever comedy festival will be added to its lineup in 2024. Launching aboard the Resilient Lady, the unique event will take place from September 14th to 19th and will feature a collection of renowned UK comedians, including Russell Howard, Andre Vincent, and Rhea Lena. Passengers on the five-night voyage departing from Portsmouth, England, will enjoy performances by the comedy stars and up-and-coming talents uh, each night and an in-house performance of The Dark Room. Resort World Bimini Fisherman's Village, just a short distance from the Resort World Bimini Cruise Port, has completed its final expansion to an open-air island-themed shopping center in the Bahamas. The central hub for shopping has expanded its reef-themed retail offerings to support the more than 1 million passengers who have visited the cruise port since its opening in 2021. Join us on the post dry dock Norwegian Bliss Transatlantic from Southampton to Miami, sailing February 2nd, 13-night transatlantic cruise starting at $1,043 per person, including taxes and port charges, stopping at La Havre, Vigo, Lisbon, and Puerto Delgado on its way to Miami. You arrive in Miami on February the 15th. This looks to be a fabulous transatlantic cruise on the Norwegian Bliss. Call me, 434-258-9264, and join us in Southampton. All right, so what happened on this on these two cruises, folks? You know, we had them at zero single solo supplement for a couple weeks, and I sold several people on the cruise, I had a number of our solo friends that were considering it before they got back to me. Norwegian cut it off. They put it back to the original price. 
So I went back to promoting it again at the regular price. Well, it's back on. So that $1,043, that's the price for a solo as well. Double occupancy or solo. They're the same price. One, a 0% uh, solo add-on on both cruises. That's on the January uh, 4th cruise from Miami to Southampton on the Bliss. And the February 2nd, that's the post dry dock cruise from Southampton back to Miami. Man, this is really, this is awesome. They, and I have no idea how long it's going to last. That's the other trick to this one. They could turn it off again today. I, I get no notice of when they're doing that. But right now, the prices are good. So what you might want to do, if you're thinking about that one, folks, just call me. Stick the $125 deposit on it. That way it holds it. That's what I would do if I wanted to, if I thought I might want to do it and wanted to save that price. I mean, $125, that's what I do. All right. On with the show. Carnival Cruise Line has announced an inaugural event, the Carna Brazil Cruise, which will be the first ever Brazilian carnival held at sea. Hosted on Carnival Conquest, Carna Brazil will bring passengers an authentic Brazilian carnival experience in February of 2025. The three-day cruise departing from Port Miami on February the 7th will sail to the Bahamas and feature a lineup of renowned Brazilian artists, including Zeca Pagodino, known as the King of Samba, Brazilian singers Roberta Sá, Diogo Nogueira, Prento da Sierra will also perform along with Monobloco, a Latin Grammy-nominated samba band. Pincontieri, one of the world's largest shipbuilders, will construct two more ships for Viking Ocean Cruises under a contract the companies announced this weekend. The two ships, as yet to be named, are scheduled for delivery in 2028 and 2029. The contract is subject to financing and is classified as a strong order, meaning one that is worth between 500 million and 1 billion euros. Each of the ships will weigh in at about 54,000 gross tons with a capacity of 998 guests. Pincontieri and Viking Ocean Cruises have partnered on previous ship builds. The line's two latest vessels, Viking Saturn and Viking Neptune, both were constructed at Fincontieri shipyards in Italy. Princess Cruises, the brand behind the beloved television show, The Love Boat, which aired from 1977 to 1986, is inviting guests to enjoy a second love boat themed cruise complete with intimate one-on-ones with the original cast members. Princess Cruises became a household name after the debut of the love boat uh, pilot episode in 1977 set aboard the original Sun Princess in Mexico. The special love boat themed cruise traveling from New York City to Canada and New England destinations is scheduled to sail August 31st to September 7th aboard the Enchanted Princess. Hey, cruisers, help me welcome the MSC Grandiosa to the U.S. on a cruise eight days, seven nights, departing from Port Canaveral on February 14th, 2026. This will be the first cruise in the U.S. for the MSC Grandiosa. Inside cabins start at 629, solos from 909, with stops in Nassau, Ocean Key, and Puerto Plata. Come learn and enjoy about the MSC Grandiosa on the latest Cruise with Chile, February 14, 2026. 
And uh, folks, I got to redo the audio on that uh, ad. It's not going to be the first cruise. They added some cruises. They actually start in December now on the Grandiosa. And of course, I'd already gotten this one booked. So we're just going to stay with that. I'll just change the ad so it doesn't say the first cruise back. We're still going to welcome the Grandiosa to this country. It's just that they might have been welcomed before. That's all. I'm looking forward to sailing on that, though, folks. Yeah, that'll be another MSC ship for me to uh, take a look at. So, all right. I know everybody is fussing at me in the chat room today. I apologize again for the technical issues. Let's see who's with us. I know Hot Air Tom. Thank you, Hot Air Tom, once again for calling and letting me know. Mike's with us. Um, Elizabeth was with us. She's learning to lip read. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. The intro had sound than nothing. I, I, how does that happen? I don't know. It'd be one thing if I had no intro and then nothing. I don't know what, how it cut off. Uh, that's just, uh, that's weird. So, my apologies, guys. Honest to God. Um, <laughs> she heard me say, um. Yeah, I was probably surprised. I didn't say something a lot worse than that. Two seconds of sound, then nothing. Hey, yeah, yeah. Elizabeth says, hi, hi there, Tom. I threatened Oceana customer service with a cancellation last Friday. They got my planner fixed, BDQ. Very good, Tom. Glad to hear that. There's Kenneth up in Pennsylvania. Hi, Kenneth. Good morning, Todd. Q Chow. Is this, uh, is this about getting huge? What? This is a cruise channel, my friend. It's about travel and cruises. Elizabeth says, well done, hot air, Tom. Everybody can hear me now. Hugh Chow. Or about driving a ship. No, we don't drive the ships. We ride the ships. Hot Air says, testing one, two, three is working. Thanks, Hot Air. I appreciate that. Sound with an echo. That's the other thing. Where the hell did the echo come from? And I mean, it was echoing vociferously here. But man, it was just a complete technical screw up this morning. Now i got to figure out how to edit it out without having to wait hours to get that done. At first there was no echo, but now a big echo. Yeah. No sound again. Yeah, that's when I shut it down again. Echo is very noticeable. No one hear you in China. Well, uh, yeah. You like the sideways one? Yeah, I didn't do that on purpose either. Okay, sound and no echo. That was six minutes, 11.06, when I finally was back to normal business. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Mike. Picture but no sound again at 11.07. Video back, no sound. No sound again. The phone is not playing nice with the mic. That's when I said, I'm trying, folks. Continental came on the phone. Yeah, I, if I could blame it on the cats, I would. Katie says, I don't know what happened. Everything was screwed up, Katie. Screen says, looking for the phone. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm back. Gretchen, Gretchen comes in the house when it finally gets back to normal. Did she bring us that or did she cause it to get screwed up? I really can't blame it on Gretchen uh, as much as I'd like to. Um, 
Hot Air says, wow, sound and video. Yeah, Hot Air. Cindy's with us. I can see you and hear you. Yep. That was just one of those mornings, Sim. I've been busy with company visiting me loud and clear. Okay, Katie. Bob's with us. Good morning, Bob. High key giveaways. DM me. You won. I doubt that. That sounds like a scam. I went on the original Sun Princess to Alaska in early 2000. Oluwago Valentine. Hello. Aluwagogo. Aluwajogo. Aluwajogo. That's uh, an effort at, at, at that. I set up the old Sun Princess. It was a great ship. All right, guys, that's going to wrap me up for a really screwed up day. So I got a bunch of stuff to do today. If John, if you are listening or if you're if Luann is listening, I've got some uh, excursions for you all to consider. Uh, I've got uh, so far I've come up with Lisbon and Ponta Delgado. I'm sorry. There's Roger, by the way. And uh, Kenneth says, Tilly and Tom, are you going to cruise back on the Queen Mary on March 31st? Uh, no, no, we're after we're doing a nine day uh, after we get over there and then we're flying home. So. All right. Um, Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I got some excursions for you guys. Sorry that Norwegian is just flaking out on that one. I can't believe they're not offering any excursions. So, but I've got some uh, some Viator. I got you links for that, which I'll I'll get to that sometime sometime this afternoon. And I had another call from Minnesota that left me a message during the show. I'm hoping that's uh, another of John's folks up there in the Crookston area that's going to go on a cruise with us. Uh, so, anyway, Luann is John's cousin, I think. She's a relative of Amigo John's, and she's joining us on the cruise. So, all right, guys. That's going to wrap me up for today. I see Katie says I'm frozen again. So I'm. Says, ah. All right. I'll see what I can figure out. Hopefully we'll have this cleared up by tomorrow. All right, guys. As always. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Think about cruising. And hopefully one day soon we'll all get together on the high seas. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 11. See ya. I regularly post videos on all facets of the travel and cruise industry. So if you like to keep up with the latest in cruise ships, ports of call, cruises themselves, chilly chats, and travel and cruise industry news, just hit the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. Hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when a new video is up or we go live. This video was produced by Chili's Cruises.